right, man, let's talk about why Javante Davis isn't top 10 pound for pound. In my humble opinion, we all know the pound for pound list is a subjective list. Um, yeah, subjective. But, uh, yeah, man, you know, everybody go around acting like he pound for pound and and it's that and the third, and, and that's cool, you know. But then again, he do mark some boxes off as far as popularity, eye test. But my number one thing is who you beat, you know. That's my number one thing about uh, the pound for pound list. It's simply about who have you put hands, foots, and tails and elbows on. And in my opinion, he ain't beat nobody, you know. And 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 that's my opinion. You know, when you talk about his last fight versus Ballpark Frank, a.k.a. Frank Martin, when you started to talk about that conversation about that fight, guess what you having the conversation about? He just came off a loss, in my opinion. You know, y'all can say, well, Box Rex say this, but we already know that spinach artichoke was beating that ass. You know, and he, that was the worst one. Of the, that's the worst performance I've seen him have. And after coming off the worst performance I've seen him had, guess who, you know, Lolly gags their way into fighting him. Up, oh, yep, Javante Stanky Tank Davis. There you have it. You know, uh, you know, we can go through his, his damn resume. You know, um, you know, he got a title, and people talk about privilege and shit. He got a title. Um, that brother got a title that they took from another champion, Alberto Machado. Um, and like I said, I call it right down the middle, black, white, green, Simpson, yellow, whatever it is. He got a title, you know, versus they took a title from Alberto Machado, stripped him for no good reason, put a title on the line versus a guy named um, Jesus Clayar, who was coming off a loss and moving up and wait to fight Tank for a title. So once we start having these conversations, you know, even if he fight Lomachenko, I don't have a problem. I think he destroyed Lomachenko at this point. But he went to Lomachenko, got beat a couple of times, and got old to fight him. You know, and that's the Mayweather blueprint. Mayweather waited for Pacquiao to get old. Had Pacquiao agreed to drug testing early? Absolutely not. This is the Jesus Clayar fight. He was gifted a belt after missing weight, weight in his previous fight. Versus for Francisco for Seca. I mean, who are, these, who are these guys? You know, Gamboa had lost a few thousand times. You know, Leo Santa Cruz, he had already lost, but, you know, we already know Leo didn't pose no threat as a puncher. Barrios was drained. Let Regis tell you. Regis told you straight up, hey, man, I was going to fight Barrios, but he told me he couldn't make 140 no more. He drained Barrios. You know what I'm saying? You go against Esau Cruz, he didn't know who he was. You know, and, you know, some people think Esau's good. Some people think Esau's ass. You know, he fought Roley. That's self-explanatory. Hector Luis Garcia, I mean, it is what it is. He did beat Colbert. Ryan Garcia, who he drained and he looked like a skeleton, you know, and, you know, Frank Martin. So, what are the screen pound for pound? Especially when you start to pull up, um, especially when you start to pull up the rankings. You know, once you start to pull up these rankings, and you start to say, well, who are the best 10 best, you know, lightweights? He, you might could put Ballpark Frank in there. That's because a lot of people that moved out the division, you know. You know, that's because a lot of people that moved out the division. But um, let's see. One second. Oh. Mm. So, um, so you say secure Lomachenko, you gotta put that Brandon guy in there. Uh, Zapata, that's four, Ramondo Moratella, that's five, Artichoke, six. Um, uh, that's the guy you know who beat old buddy who beat uh, I probably thought beat Frank Martin, fight secure next. Maybe put Andy Cruz somewhere in there, you know. Uh, Raymond Mor Morella, Mortella, put him in there. Uh, Edwin De La Santos, you put him in there. Um, 
Uh, Nicholas Walker's back. That's what's up. But um, and George Camboso, you probably putting him and Frank Martin in there. But Frank ain't never been a champion, so it's hard to put him in there. So not sure if Frank or De La Soto's win that fight. That's a good one. I'm probably favorite for him. So maybe Frank is like nine or ten in a division as far as whatever. But that's once again, all this is subjective. He ain't be the top ten opponent in this division. Now it's time for everything to be on the up and up for that brother, man. Now it's time for the smash, smash these dudes. All you got to do is beat Lomachenko, and he in there in my book. And I believe he will. I don't think he had no problem beating Lomachenko. That's going to be a, a quick ass whooping. You know, but he waited till he's 30 years old to actually fight somebody. And people, you know, sit there and they talk about, you know, um, they get mad at guys who want who want to fight people. You know, they get mad at people who who want to fight Javante, who want to fight, you know, uh, you know, top guys. So they sit there and they get mad at them for wanting to get in there and mix it up with top guys. And then they praise the guys who uh, don't want to get in, you know, who don't want to get in there and protect them. And talk about marinate, marinate. Then when it come to when they get their ass beat, then what's the narrative? Oh, he was old, or he, he you know, he was nah, nah, nah. Y'all scream all this marination, you know. Y'all screamed all this marination, okay? Can't have it both ways. They, they don't never, uh, they don't never sit here and, and, and give somebody the proper, um, the proper, the proper, you know, respect. They always got to diminish what these brothers do in the ring and all that. And then they praise guys with a, uh, with a box wreck like Tank. That's all I'm saying. And they praise a guy with a box wreck like Tank. Make it make sense. You know? Make it make sense. You know? You got to fight somebody. You know how many times I've been watching boxing where it looked like a guy was the boogeyman or he looked like the, he he was the real deal Holyfield. But then, you know, when it boiled down, when it boiled down to it, he got exposed. I, I didn't seen I didn't seen this happen. I didn't seen this happen in boxing so much. You know, I didn't seen this happen in boxing so much where a lot of these guys you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of these guys, they feel like they the guy. You know, they look unbeatable. And, and, you know, once they get in there with somebody, once they get in there with somebody, the narrative changed real fast. Listen to me. The narrative changed real fast. The narrative changed real fast. So, I mean, it is what it is. You know, but, uh, but hey, like I said, to each his own, to each his own, but he ain't fought nobody. And that's the premise of it. That's my number one thing. About about the pound for pound list. That's my number one thing. You gotta fight people. And if you ain't fought none of the top guys in your division, you ain't never unified. If you 30 years old, you've been pro this long. And on top of that, what make it worse is that he literally can fight who he wanna fight. You know, he basically a lot of people's calling him prospect with a belt, no matter how good he looked. It always look good when you playing on easy. It's always it's always good when you playing on easy. Tell me I'm lying. It's always good when you playing on easy. You know. It's always good when you playing on easy. That's what people don't understand. When you don't fight nobody, of course you killing you killing shit. But when you step up to another level or another level or another level or another level in difficulty, you know, and they fought if Dark Tank was that good, they had to put they had to put him on the fast track. That's why I keep telling y'all they hiding something. 
If they didn't think he was ready versus feather fisted Tevin Farmer, and there's no disrespect to Tevin Farmer, we just calling it what it is. You know what I'm saying? If they didn't think he was he was ready to compete versus him. Well, I mean, come on. What are, what are y'all thinking? Do the math. Instead of seeing these, these fights where they all look the same, he start off slow because he knows his opponent ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? And then he step it up and stop his opponent. You know, instead of, instead of you know what I'm saying? Instead of, you know, going through that again. You know what I'm saying? Instead of sitting there, you know, watching the same old, same old. You know, watching the same sad-ass song. You know. Why not sit there and say see something a little bit different? But y'all didn't got so much emotional attachment because of social media make you think that's your cousin, that's your brother, you know, that you know that he family that y'all don't want to see him lose. So y'all just rather see him watch fights that he know he's gonna win. But only thing that really moved a needle, um only thing that really moved a needle in boxing is when you got genuine big fights. And right now, we don't have genuine big fights because these dudes don't want to fight each other. And by the time it's time for these brothers to start fighting each other, let me say this. By the time for these brothers to start fighting each other, what we do find out and what we do know is a lot of times the shit be stale. They're, you know, over marinated, coming off a long layoff. And then the next thing, oh, man, you know, he was rusty or he was, you know, you know, he got, you know, he was old or, you know, you know, they shouldn't have married. No, nah, no, nah, y'all was pushing for them. It's always an excuse. A lot of these, a lot of these dudes just not good, bro. That's what I keep saying. A lot of these dudes just not good. And they, and they didn't been, you know, babied and, 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 and cuddled through the, through the uh, grooming process. And then when they get to a certain level, they get exposed. Not saying this is the, the case with Tank, but. This is my opinion, man. Appreciate y'all for supporting the channel. Hit the link tree. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Check out the Patreon. Appreciate that. Um, outside of the Patreon for your boy, um, do me that favor and check out uh, me on Rumble, Goodfella TV on Rumble, Goodfella TV on Rumble. I'm trying to get five followers on there. So sign up for Rumble if you haven't. Um, but other than that, man, appreciate the love and support. Peace.